Hello music lovers, clock collectors, and fine arts enthusiasts. I haven't made a video in so long and put it on YouTube, I almost forgot how to work my camera. But uh, hey, I picked up a clock the other day, I'm going to show it to you. I already repaired it, it wasn't much of a repair, but I already repaired it, and it's an old uh, 1978 Emperor grandfather clock, kind of nice clock. I picked it up from a, uh, a lady on Marketplace. She got it home. She couldn't get it to work. Uh, there was a few problems with it. Uh, chains, the, the weights were pulled up too tight. Uh, the middle chain was pulled up so tight that it was in the gears. And uh, the, the beat was way off on it. Uh, let's go take a look at it. All right, we'll head over to the workshop here. All right, this is where miracles are created. And there it is, the Emperor... Uh, grandfather clock it's kind of a narrow case uh, a lot of people think this is a grandmother clock but i don't believe it is a grandmother clock because of, of the height it's uh i think it's 72 inches so uh let's have a closer look at it uh you can see it's running uh we'll open the the door you can see it's running swinging back and forth keeping time got the weights polished up on it uh, the things I had to do with it when I got it home was, uh, uh, well, number one, let's get the, the pendulum had a great big dent in it right here. I pulled that dent out, and I can tell you how, if you ever have to, uh, there is still a little dent in it, but this thing was caved in. And what I did was I took some hot glue and the hot glue stick, and I uh, dabbed a little hot glue in the center of that thing and stuck the stick in it, let it dry. And uh, then when it dried, I pulled it out. Then when I got it out as best I could, then I cut the hot glue off there and cleaned it off of there. And I uh, got that. And, uh, number two, what I did was I had to cut a piece of glass for this. Uh, an old auto glass installer from way back. Uh, retired in 2015. But what I do is I'm always looking for glass. And uh, the other day, the wife and I, we were driving down, I think we were in Westville or something like that, and somebody threw a number of storm windows up. I picked about, a, oh, uh, maybe six or seven uh, old storm windows, aluminum storm windows out. I got them in the garage. All I got to do is take it apart. And uh, this is where this glass came from right here. A little fancy cutting on that. I got it in with hot glue. Sometimes you use silicone rubber, but, you know, a little bit of hot glue it's sure a lot better than the molding that comes with it or the stops that come with it to uh, to uh, to hold the glass in. Uh, yeah, there was a couple things wrong with it. The, uh, the weights were pulled up so high, I couldn't even get the weights off. The third weight was in the bottom, but the, the chain was pulled up and it was, it was uh, wedged into the gears there. And it uh, didn't have a back on it. I found an old piece of wood. Hope you can see this. Um, made this back. These uh, clips here are from an old picture frame right here. And uh, we'll take this back off and let you look inside. Got my fancy schmancy light. Maybe you can see the movement. It's from 1978. It's a Hermel, if I'm saying that right. Movement. Good movement. It's running good. And I kind of like, if you can look at the where the pendulum hooks up, there's a, 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 a micro adjustment on that. It's a screw that you can actually adjust the beat. Now this beat, when I got this clock, the beat was so far off, uh, I had a heck of a time getting it to run. But as you can see, it's, uh, it's running pretty good right now. Uh, these clocks, let me get swing back around here. We can take a look at it. These clocks were actually... Uh, a kit clock is what I understand. The Empire was a kit clock. It came in a box, in pieces. You put the movement in. You did all the work. And uh, actually, it's pretty quality, high quality clock. The wood is uh, some type of oak. And uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong with the, the woodwork on this clock. It's, it's really a nice clock. I'm going to find a good home for it. I already have three grandfather clocks that run and I think what I'm going to do is give one of them to my granddaughter I don't know which one she wants but uh, that's what I'm thinking and I'll keep uh, either this one or another one 
But uh, yeah, she turned out pretty nice. And I think the lady that uh, gave this clock up, I, I thank her very much for giving this clock to me. It's much appreciated. And uh, all right, there you have it. It's the old Emperor, uh, 1978 Emperor clock. Good, good looking, good looking dial on this one. Hey, thanks for watching.